Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. If you do have an encounter to tell, send to SoCal Sasquatch Organization at gmail.com. We now have SCSO Keep On Squatching t-shirts available. See link in description below. Join the community and show it off wherever you go. Report number 57401, Class Alpha. Family driving a rural two-track have a late day encounter north of Higgins Lake. Year 2017. Season, spring. Month, April. Date, 3rd. State, Michigan. County, Roscommon County. Location details, specific directions omitted upon the family's request. Nearest town, Higgins Lake. Observed. We live in Michigan near a national forest. One evening, my two 18-year-old daughters and I took my pickup down a two-track looking for rocks for our fire pit we were building. It was light out with a light rain. We were coming up over a ridge on the trail, and when we were starting down, a huge Bigfoot ran across the trail in front of us. We all saw it well. It was covered in long, black hair with a patch of white hair along its back near its shoulders. It was running with amazing speed in a forward leaning position and its arms seemed to almost touch the ground. As it ran we figured it to be approximately nine foot tall. We could clearly see legs, arms, hands, head, muscle definition throughout its body even with long hair. The hair on its back and body was longer than the hair on its head and arms. We didn't get to see its face, though. But the strangest part of this was that it was running with a gray-colored wolf that I've seen multiple times before. It really appeared that they were together. The wolf was f at full stride about 15 feet behind it. Once it cleared the track, it went up the hill on the other side with an amazing speed. It seemed to pull away from the wolf at the last little bit we watched it. <clears throat> we tried to drive to where the, they last were to try and see them again, but they were gone. That wolf was ran very close to me on my four-wheeler, and I can tell you he is no little puppy. He leaves an almost five-and-a-half-inch track, and the Bigfoot dwarfed the wolf. The next day I went back to look for prints, but the 14 hours of heavy rain overnight ruined any prints there might have been. We have found several other four-toed, very large prints in the area. A local BF researcher came out to investigate the area and was impressed with what is called tree structures. There was a couple found like a teepee style and one is very large, but the trees are upside down. Weird. I have pictures of the things we have found and are happy to share all of my evidence we have found to help others know these things are real and they exist here in Michigan. Also noticed, the speed at which it was able to move was just amazing and the wolf running with it like a pet was very strange. We have heard loud roaring sounds in those woods many times with many different people over the last few months since deer season and I found prints in the snow that I've recorded with four toes. Two different sized four toed prints were found crossing a sandy trail in the morning. I took pics of those also. Other witnesses, yes my 18 year old daughters, we were riding in the pickup looking straight ahead down the trail when it crossed. We all saw it very well. Other stories, two men live out in the, that forest in a house with no electricity. They both have claimed to see a Bigfoot. One was very close to our incident, and one of the men says he's heard the roaring call like sound from time to time and a Tarzan sound behind his house from time to time. He literally lives around almost no one the majority of the year. Time and conditions, evening about 7.45 p.m., it was light out with a slight rain. Environment, this is a forest area state owned where there are swampy areas with dense pine all around.